them. Uh, I think rules can be done at both the local and the federal level to make sure that uh, there are requirements to serve everyone in a service area. We used to have them, let's remember that, and the networks that broadband was built on top of the old cable and the old telecom networks had build out requirements, either at the local level with franchise agreements or at the FCC for telecom networks for phone networks and and they've been rolled back over the years. So we we've been successful at this in the past and we can learn from those lessons. So I'd like to pivot briefly to discuss digital literacy. Mr. Lewis, can you briefly elaborate on how promoting digital literacy is critical for our future workforce needs? And if Congress neglects to make a robust investment in broadband access in digital literacy skills now, do you foresee any potential long-term consequences for our workforce, our communities, and our economy? It's extremely important. Uh, we need to make sure that not only are we getting folks the broadband that they need, but that they are prepared to use it in a way that is helpful to them and their community's economic uh, uh, development. Uh, digital literacy training can uh, not only help with basic skills uh, of using the technology, but also in how to use it in a way that can promote uh, new businesses, uh, entrepreneurship outside of your community. Um, this is why we support uh, the idea of the uh, digital equi the equity act that I think it's called the digital equity act that um, promotes, you know, communities making digital equity plans to help do this work in your community uh, and specific to your community. 